for those of you that are joining me this morning, we're going to explore what's in your backyard and we're going to start by exploring what's in my backyard. Now, sometimes we might not see an animal. This particular one, if you can spot it there, very well camouflaged in the garden bed, is a striped marsh frog. And sometimes it's the calls that help us identify them. Let's have a listen. Hmm. What an interesting talking sound. If I didn't know that this was the call of a striped marsh frog, I would think it was maybe not a frog at all. So sometimes the sounds that we hear um, in our backyards, we don't recognise as the animals that they are. So let's have a listen to a couple more and we'll see what we can identify. Here's another type of frog here. This is the most common frog in my backyard and it's a Perrin's tree frog. It's got these great little cross pupils and they have such a loud call um, and they're very, very common around Sydney. So one of the most commonly found frogs um, at the moment often is this Perrin's tree frog. This is the green tree frog. Let's listen to his call. These are the grey-headed flying fox and they're quite common around at the moment. I can hear them screeching and having little arguments in the trees um, around where I live. So they move from their colonies and they fly just as the sun's setting. So you might see the big black wings fly through the sky as they're moving to find food. So let's have a listen to what they might sound like. You might have heard this at night. They always sound like they're having, a, having a, a little bit of an argument. And at night, they're finding their food. These are fruit bats. You can see the beautiful big eyes. And they're actually using their sight and their, their smell to be able to find their food. And they are absolutely amazing um, animals to have around. This is another one that might be a little bit common that you might have heard before, which is the brush tail possums. They also sound a little bit like they're sort of hissing and arguing, but that could be one of the sounds you might hear in the tree near your house at night time, and you might not have known what it was. So it could have been either the grey-headed flying fox or the brush-tailed possums that are feeding around in your garden while you're asleep. Now, sometimes we might find some weird things like this. Hmm... I can see some little bits of bone in it and little bits of hair. It looks a little bit disgusting. Hmm, but I wonder what this could be from. Is it a clue that there is an animal, a certain type of animal nearby? And yes, it is. These are our pellets. So otherwise known as our vomit. So lots of birds that are um, hunters and predators will can't digest all of the material that they eat. So they, things like little bits of bone, fur and feathers, they need to spit back up. Um, and so we find these things called our pellets. They're really super important for scientists to discover because it gives them information about what kinds of food these particular birds are eating. So that's really important. This one here is a powerful owl and they need these hollow logs and hollow trees um, to live in. So very lots of their habitat is disappearing. So it's really exciting if you hear one of these. Now I'm going to listen to the call. Every now and again, I hear a powerful owl. So definitely keep an ear out for this species. They are quite endangered and they're actually doing lots of research around Sydney um, and around further away about where these animals are living. So if you hear that sound, let someone know. It's really important. Now, this is one that's been waking up my kids um, every year. So it's not, I haven't heard it yet this year. 
let's let's have a listen. This is a coel. <laughs> some of you may recognize that sound some of your parents might know that sound as well so in the next few months we'll start having the coels come around and it can be something that wakes you up and yeah, it's hard to get back to sleep with that call this is the owl that i have nearest me that i hear most of the time at night this is a boobal cow the southern boobal cow And this is the one that I can hear in my backyard. And it's that real woo-hoo kind of sound. So keep an ear out for this one as well. Now, the last one I'll show you, we'll listen to, is the tawny frog mouse. So these are not owls. These are in a group called night jars. They've got really big mouths that they use to catch their food. And they like to stay still and camouflage. So sometimes you can see them in the trees during the daytime and they will stay very still with their heads up sometimes um, with their family all together pretending to be a branch but if you listen at night time you might hear this call <laughs> So a real repetitive hoo, 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 hoo. If you've ever heard that before, it means that you've got the tawny frog mouse around. So next time you're walking around your backyard or local area, have a look up in the trees. You never know, you might be able to spot a tawny frog mouse. Have fun exploring. So thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to hearing about all of your amazing adventures.